back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to uh, do landmark hand landmark detection using media pipe uh, in native android application so firstly uh, you will have to go to this documentation and next scroll down go to the uh, model section and here you will have to go uh, click on this model section over here and here you will have to add uh, add this hand land marker uh, you will have to download this i'm sorry so just download this uh, next you will have to create an android project once you create the android project just right click new uh, folder assets folder click on finish i have already created this inside the assets folder you will have to drag and drop the tensorflow light model which we were, which we just downloaded for the hand land marker also i will show you the output first so if you see i have one button okay and as soon as i click on the button it opens the image picker and i will select an image which has an hand like a hand because we are doing hand landmark detection and as you can see it is able to draw over the hand so it is drawing a landmark over the hand okay uh, yeah so this is the output now let's see the code so first you will have to go to build.gradle.kts and this is a new thing from uh, i think android studio iguana uh, like this is our uh, media pipe task vision library and this is our coil dependency for loading image inside an image view now uh, just add this bit of code then you will have to go to libs.versions.toml and here you can see i have added this coil dependency this is the version of coil i am using also uh, this is our task vision which i have added and this is the task vision which i am using all right then you can click on uh, go to build.gradle.kts and just click on sync now once that is done if you see uh, inside my colors.xml i have just added this green color but you uh, to uh, draw uh, this landmark over our, over our hand uh, but you can use whatever color you feel like uh, then inside activity underscore main sorry before that i have created this overlay view and to be honest with you i have literally copy pasted this from the documentation so if you are curious you can go to the documentation over here uh, just uh, open this okay and you will have to go to i think hand land marker yeah and here you can give, go to the overlay view and you can just copy paste all this code so unfortunately i won't be able to explain it to you but all it does is that it draws this uh, like this hand uh, landmark on our uh, image so i'll slowly scroll through this you can just copy paste it It's basically kind of like a canvas. Okay, that's it. Next, you will have to go to activity underscore main and here uh, I have just taken one button. All right, then I have taken an image view and then i have also initialized our overlay view but this package name would differ for you so in case you are confused you can just write something like overlay view and it will automatically give you all the intelligence okay important thing which you have to notice the width and height of your image view should be the same as width and height of our overlay view so if you see i am using constraint layout so i am occupying the entire width and height below the button for our image view as well as for our overlay view and if you see the constraints uh, the top of our image view is uh, constrained to the bottom of our button similarly over here top of our overlay view is constrained to the bottom of our button that is important next go to main activity over here and here i have used an overlay view uh, like i have created variables for overlay view button as well as image view and uh, inside on create uh, i have just initialized all this overlay view button and image view like these are this is by default present like in android studio iguana they might remove it in the future as well but yeah just uh, giving you an heads up uh, next i have created a base options dot builder and i have set the model asset path now this name should be the same what you have uh, defined it over here so if you remember we have created this assets folder and we have dragged and drop our assets over like the tf light uh, model over here so make sure the name is same and here we are using base options builder dot build 
then i am initializing our hand land marker dot hand land, hand land marker options dot builder i have set the base options then i have for all confidence level i have set it as 0 0.5 number of hands i have kept it as 2 and running mode is image and the options build i am using options builder dot build and i have also created one uh, variable for our hand land marker uh, and inside over here i have also created one method for scaling down our image so that if the bitmap is too large we don't occupy too much memory for our app otherwise we can get a memory out of exception as well and inside on create i'm initializing our hand land marker once the button is clicked i'm calling get content dot launch array of image slash star and if you see uh, inside get content we are calling register for activity result and opening the document next we are moving it to on the io coroutine uh, then using the media uri we are convert creating a bitmap then we are converting it to rgb uh, 888 from that bitmap we are converting it to an mp image which is required by the hand land marker then we just call hand land marker dot detect mp image and here we call overlay view dot set results and we uh, just pass our you know result as well as the mp images height as well as width and on the main thread we are just uh, loading our bitmap inside our image view the load method is from coil so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye